I, I think that the consolidation that we have seen over the last few years in the third party operator business will continue. I think that the participation of private equity and institutional capital in that business and in that process will continue and I think that that will be a catalyst to accelerate the pace of consolidation and I think you're going to see again five years from now I think you're probably going to see five branded global companies that really really dominate I think you're going to see you know, five third-party operator platforms that have a business in Latin America, have a business in Europe, have a business in North America, maybe have a business in China. It won't be as big and as global, but you're definitely going to see, I think, a consolidation in that, in that space. And I think that the panelists, no surprise, you know, sort of agreed. Right. I think that the growth of the soft brand within the large company's portfolio provides an opportunity for those kind of really high quality third party operators to take advantage of what the brands can offer from a distribution, from a loyalty standpoint, but also have them do what they do best, which is get into the local marketplace and use the attributes of the asset to, you know, the, the story or the narrative associated with an you know, independent hotel, but plugged into a curio or a tapestry or a luxury collection or an autograph or a, you know, you know, any of the other sort of uh, soft branded brands. And there's more coming. Yeah. Uh, and that's, it's that, that, that train has left the station.